So the early bird gets the worm, and here is me and Kelsey's Sunday fun day. We're going to head out South Texas. There's a British sports car that's been in a garage since 1976. So they got the house sold. It's either now or never, so we've got one day to get there. Sun's not up yet. We're on our way. So, so far on this road trip, we made it like a mile, and now we're at Whataburger. Let me go get two of my favorite things. Gotta have that with a chicken salad sandwich. Bam, look at that. Gas Monkey Energy Light. Absolutely. I'll claim her. Bunions, Doritos, energy drinks. We <laughs> are the picture of health, but it's Sunday, so it doesn't matter. Money, Puppy money. chow. So we're rolling through the hill country outside of Austin, heading to Wimberley, Texas. Just passing through uh, Driftwood right now. Beautiful country. There's a lot of distilleries and a lot of wineries up here. We're going to look at a 1959 MGA Coupe. It's been parked since 1976. So my math is correct, that's like 42 years. That's a long time. That is a long time. If we get it bought, it should be interesting getting on the trailer. And guess what? It's only me and you. <laughs> should be easy. We <laughs> stopped at um, Home Depot a little bit ago and got some gloves. Yeah, so we're like fully prepared now. We have gloves. How many times do you think you've taken a hot shot trip on a Sunday to buy a car? I don't know about on a Sunday, but I say hot shot trips overall, honestly, over a thousand. Early bird gets to work when somebody says they're ready to get rid of something, you gotta act on it quick. They've sold this house, so the car's gotta be out this weekend, and I talked to Ben to giving us a couple days to get here, so this is it. We it's now or never. Close out our ranch up in the hill country. <laughs> they have size for guest house and main house. That's pretty serious. There she is. Let's see the lay of the land and figure out if we can get this bought and we can get it out. things you want to look at is the brakes. So if you look in over here on the side of the wheel. Yeah. This is a drum brake car. No, it's a disc brake car. That's good. So it's a little bit later. And you want to look to see if it's a 1500 car or a 1600 car. No, yeah, this is a 1500. How can I tell that it's a 1500? Right here on, right here on this tag right here. It's going to start with a 1.5. This goes. 1976. And we have talked to Alabama. No records do not do that. Well, here's something that was, that's neat about Alabama. A lot of people don't know this. Is anything that's older than 1972, Alabama never issued a title. Oh, no wonder we can't find it. That's right. <laughs> you got a license plate and a registration, but you never had a title. So this car, since we've got the plate and we know the serial number to it, I can get a bill of sale from you. Okay. And I can research that and I can get a trash. So it's not the end of the world, it's just tanking it. Alright, are you ready to do one of the most epic trailer backing ins ever? I'm gonna try. We're kind of in a pickle up here. This is crazy time. Let's see. on start to finish in like 30 minutes the car's been parked that long 42 years it's pretty good any specific part that you're hooking that up to well i was going to go a little steering rack but it's probably better off to go over one of the suspension pieces 
that's totally what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get dirty. It's all right. People think this is very glamorous. Sometimes it's not. So there is a cross member at the front of an MGA. It ties two frame rails together. And it's really solid. So we're going to use that. Facebook and Instagram pages? I have been impressed with this experience. So this car has been parked for 42 years. We got it out of the garage and on the trailer in less than 30 minutes. I said I don't know how long it was, but tell some things. <laughs> it's probably less than 30. Someone pays to pay attention. Pardon the pun. Usually when a car is taken apart, all the parts are there. You just got to spend some time. It's much easier to spend time in the garage to find them now than it is to buy them later. So here's the radiator and the hood. Door panels. Almost left the door panels. Now we're going to go in and Kelsey's going to do the paperwork and get the lady paid. As you saw, we got the right ID tag for the car, which is huge. It's huge. Just finished up in Wimberley loading the MGA coupe. The lady was incredibly nice, super helpful. Keep watching the rest of me and Kelsey's road trip. Bye, Wimberley, Texas. Yep. Successful buy. On to the next one. Very successful. Next location is a secret.